after a bunch of work, we're making some progress. Uh, it's been a bunch of time and I'll show some of the welding, but I've got all the engine mounts welded up looking good. This cross tube I've only tacked in place uh, just in case it has to come back out or I need to make some modifications to it uh, in case the width is not correct between the frame rails. Um, I welded in some stainless steel nuts so that the top of the motor mounts can bolt straight into the cross member and again the bolt here so there's multiple points of removal um, shouldn't need to touch those bolts for the most part same thing on the other side looks very similar uh, I've got the transmission mount all welded up uh, it's actually been like two two and a half years since I've TIG welded anything some of the welds look really good some of them not as good but I think it's gonna be plenty strong enough that one looks pretty good except for the shielding gas mistake there uh, but it's all slotted in tab, so it should fit together really good. And I bolt up right there. Like I said I take the bolts out. Uh, it has these gussets here, so that allows me a lot of clearance for uh, potential exhaust routing. Um, I haven't sorted it out, but I want to make sure I have as much room as possible. And then I've um, been working on some stuff over in the engine bay. Now I originally bought some two and a half inch angle iron. Uh, to put up on the frame rails, like back here further, but it's kind of rest on the frame rail uh, to give me an anchor point, weld this in, just kind of disperse that load. Uh, however, angle iron's got this big old radius in the corner. It doesn't really want to sit down how I'd like. So, I mean, I could bash in the corner a little bit and that'd probably be pretty good, but I don't really like that route. So, I just bought some regular flat stock got it really really close and then it sits way flatter to get the frame rails cleaned up um, get them down bare back in this area weld these in place but it sits way nicer of course I had to weld it up to get actually a 90 degree bend out of it an L um, then let me hop up in here and see kind of pointing you see through some other stuff yeah um, I don't know if it's on all S30s, but in particular, the 280Z has a plate gusset here to kind of reinforce these lower arm points. And there's these. This one is over here. Just like this. So, um, to get my plate on there, I had to remove that. So not too big a deal. I'll go back and re-gusset along the edge here. Uh, maybe bring it out a little bit more. Same thing on this side. This had one is a little bit different shape. Um, I don't know if that's just a production error, but whatever. Uh, so I need to grind these flat, clean them down to bare metal, get these welded in place. But I'm not quite sure on the exact location until we get the engine here. Um, so everything was kind of get tacked together, pull the motor back out, and then do final welding. We should be in pretty good business. Now, I've gone kind of wild with uh, this cheap little, um, what is it called? Spot weld uh, from the factory. So you can kind of like just center punch them and then use this drill, little tiny hole saw basically. Take them out and then I'll have to grind them smooth. This is one of the first ones I did and I went right through the sheet metal. Luckily on everything else, I've actually done pretty good on. Did that over there. I'm probably gonna remove most of the rest of the bracketry in here. I don't think I'll need any of it. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll make new ones. Um, same thing down here, I kind of drill all these out. Um, and same thing with the throttle linkage point. It was right back here. So that'll come out. I just wanna make sure there's tons of clearance. Hopefully I don't have to uh, remove this, locate it back. I I was messing with the drawings on the computer and there is potentially the need to cut it, maybe like flush with this edge and then kind of box that back in, which shouldn't be too hard, but I'm hoping I don't have to. Ooh, that's sketchy. All right, so I need to cut out the rest of the cross member. As you can see, I've already removed this engine mount. I removed it from this side, it's not very good, not very cleaned up yet. Um, but I do need to cut the cross member back quite a bit to clear the front of the oil pan on the BQ. And then actually 
it'll need to be cut a little bit further on this side for the oil filter. Um, I was going to do it with my hacksaw. However, it's angry, it's hard to get the angles. I do have this cheap plasma cutter that I've been dying to use, so I think it's the right time for it. We'll see if it cuts through it. I've used it uh, very, very little, so hopefully it still works. I don't see why I wouldn't, but oh, let's give it a shot and uh, see if we can't get that clearance we need. It's working just fine, except my garage smells freaking awful right now. It smells like everything's on fire. So I gotta hook up the fan, get some airflow through here, because it stinks. It stinks bad. Cheap little thing works pretty good though. I'm actually pretty impressed. It's the most I've used it, so not bad. It's a good time to do this when my wife's not home, because she would lose her shit at this right now. I'm not going to pretend that this plasma cuts are clean. They will get cleaned up when I remove the subframe. The whole subframe is going to come out. I'm actually waiting on a wheel key because the previous owner decided to put it on these chintzy little uh, wheel locks and they take like a weird hex key. I don't know. I don't have it. So I got to order one. It'll be here tomorrow, hopefully, and we can get the wheels off. I'm going to remove the whole subframe out and then clean everything up, box it in, make it look nice and pretty, completely remove the rest of those mounts. However, it is good for the time being. So clean the garage up a bit, vacuum up the floor, tidy it up, and uh, I'm getting kind of antsy. I just kind of want to throw the motor in there and see what it looks like. So I think I might just do that, just throw it at the engine bay, see what kind of clearance I have, and then um, going to come right back out basically maybe i'll leave it there let it hang out mark the frame rails where i need to clean them uh kind of prep for welding but dude i'm just like i'm this far along and i'm like really want to see the motor and engine bay so now's a good time as any So we're, we're so close. Obviously it needs to go quite a bit lower, although we're not, we're not crazy far off. Uh, it definitely needs to sit below this kind of a hood seal line. Um, but according to my CAD mile files, I'm only like, um, it's kind of hard to see down here, but the cross member to the frame rail, it's already butted up against it pretty much. Uh, it only needs to go down about probably an inch and a half. And then we're pretty good. But I think I might need to take out some more off that front cross member. It might be good because I'm not quite back as far as I need to be. Um, I can't really scoot the cherry picker back anymore. It's already hitting the air dam and then uh, these hood torsion springs. So I got to remove those, get those out of the way, kind of free up a little bit more room so we can get the cherry picker in a little bit further. But not bad, dude. We're, we're, we're making some progress. That's a motor in the engine bay and I'm, I'm really stoked because that just gives me a little extra juice in the tank on that one dude it's gonna be super super sweet oh, i think it's gonna be a wrap for today though um, i'm gonna keep on tinkering with this like i said uh maybe i'll throw in some more footage of me cleaning up the the frame rails and getting things welded in but we're chipping away making some progress I might have a running VQ S30 within, you know, the next year, hopefully. Hopefully a lot sooner, but I know how some of these projects can go sometimes. 
uh, mounting it is only one hurdle. The electronics is going to be a huge one. And then a lot of other figuring out. I do have a brand new radiator. Uh, it's a Mishimoto NA Miata. And it just so happens to fit perfectly between the front of the frame rails. You can see how the frame rail kind of dips in right here. And as long as you're really tight up against the core support, it does clear, it fits, and it has the right, give or take, inlet and outlet for the VQ. So that is definitely a good sign. And uh, we should be in business pretty soon, I'm thinking, man. Like, it's looking pretty good. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, make sure to hit like, subscribe, stick around. I'm hopefully gonna be having more updates on this in the near future, but. It's going to be a wrap for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.